there. Standing and doing nothing in a game is something we rarely do, yet more often than not, it's the only way to see a rare animation, a secret, and sometimes an easter egg. Today we are going AFK in 20 video games to see what happens. Like leaving Grogu too long in Lego Star Wars, he'll eventually start eating the wildlife, just like he did in The Mandalorian. Probably the most iconic AFK animation has to be Sonic the Hedgehog and his tapping foot. That animation is so well known, it made it into the movie. But Sonic CD did something to change this. If our blue hedgehog is left idle for too long, he'll straight up yeet himself into oblivion. And things get worse, because it doesn't take away a single life. It takes away all of them. Game over. Mario has had many idle animations over the years, but Mario Odyssey must be the best. After standing idle for too long, Mario will sit and eventually take a nap, and a bird will perch on his nose. But did you know, in each world or biome he visits, a different bird will come and land on his snout. My personal favourite is the Hat Kingdom, just look at this little leg end. Or maybe the best one is the Penguin, I can't decide which is best. Sometimes standing still can result in unique audio. In WWE 2K23, if both players refuse to fight, the commentators can get a little frustrated. I'm calling for a disqualification on account of boredom at this point. Things that you'd rather be doing than sitting here watching these two? I'd rather be stuck in traffic. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Banjo-Kazooie and Astro's Playroom all share an AFK animation. Standing around long enough and all three will whip out their portable gaming devices. Donkey Kong has a Nintendo DS, Banjo-Kazooie has an OG Game Boy and I think Astro Bot has a Vita or is that a PSP? Astro likes to multitask too, he can sometimes be seen using PSVR if unattended. Over in Rage is a great easter egg, stand still long enough while holding the rocket launcher and this happens. A teeny tiny screen begins to play Doom. Insane, I love it. A game you shouldn't AFK in is Gang Beasts, especially on water levels. For example, at the aquarium an octopus will become very annoyed if you refuse to get involved with the action. Expect a tentacle to come your way and pull inactive players into the void. Whereas on ocean based levels, AFK players will find this happens. Sometimes standing still long enough can lead to in-game trophies or special cutscenes. In Far Cry 4, we go to dinner with the game's big bad guy right at the start of the game. Don't move, I will be right back. When he steps out for a moment, we are supposed to run away and the game starts for real. Yet, by sitting still and doing absolutely nothing at all, he'll eventually return and bloody tastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. And a secret ending will play, as somehow this bad guy has become our father figure. It's a surprising ending, but it's canon to me. Back when Uncharted 4 was being revealed at E3, the devs had a massive failure as Nathan Drake refused to move at all. Millions of people watched as he just stood still. Naughty Dog then turned that embarrassment into a hidden trophy in the final release of the game. By standing idle at the same spot as the devs, you'd be gifted the Stage Fright Trophy. Literally a trophy for doing nothing at all. Doing absolutely nothing in Hogwarts Legacy reveals countless secret animations. On the character select screen, simply resist touching the controller and your dorm room will come alive. Depending on your progress in the game, you'll experience randomised encounters. From a Niffler escaping your bag in the pursuit of gold, maybe a phoenix will perch in the background, and even the golden snitch from Quidditch will make an appearance. There are so many more, including the beasts you've tamed over the course of the game, and even your house elf will turn up up too. Hopefully he's in a good mood. Another game to do this is Deadpool. The merc with a mouth can be seen having a scratch. Wait around long enough and he'll start cosplaying in other outfits like X-Force, a tracksuit, a maid and even this pseudo X-Men outfit. Keep your digits away from the keyboard or controller and eventually he'll talk directly to you. Just wondering, 
You got any girls in there? Back to LEGO Star Wars, and every single character has multiple idle animations. One in particular is really impressive. Take a look at Anakin's. His lightsaber can malfunction, turning the blue of the Jedi into the red of the Sith foreshadowing his journey to the dark side. I don't think anyone noticed, you're okay bro. Another Star Wars game is Jedi Survivor and our hero Cal Kestis has a bunch of AFK details, but there's one which is more epic than all the others. Very occasionally, he'll use the force to break apart his own lightsaber just to pass the time. No one likes a Jedi who shows off. Gamers usually know how to follow instructions, but have you ever been tempted to just do the opposite of what you're told? In God of War Ragnarok, while playing as Atreus, we are asked to leave the room. And of course, we need to know what happens if we just stand still. Maybe if we just stare at him and say nothing, He'll get the hint and leave. This game also lets you listen in at the door. It doesn't get much better. I'm not joking, son. Go. Well, now this is just getting weird. The best idle animations add to the characters on screen. Take Sia's rare animation in Apex Legends lobbies. A fan will approach and ask for an autograph, and Sia is more than happy to make their day. Oh, he's so happy. Over in Honkai Star Rail, keep off your controller for a minute when playing as one of these two characters and they will attempt to sing. One is very good. Dun, 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 but now listen to this guy. Na, 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 na. <sighs> Yikes, it's not great, but it's an A for effort. SpongeBob games are packed with great idle animations. My man can imitate a chicken. He can put his finger through his head and he can even twerk a little. On the old PSP game, SpongeBob hated waiting for someone to lift the controller and over time would age, grow out a long beard, take up a walking stick and erode into ashes, leaving only a skeleton behind. SpongeBob does not like waiting. In more modern games, Mr. SquarePants has found new ways to amuse himself, like this. I honestly have no idea what's going on here. Did you know that Link can visit the restroom in Skyward Sword? There's more, it's also possible to leave him there long enough that he falls asleep on the loo. Luckily he wakes up just in time to stop a spillage, cause that's what heroes do. Conker's Bad Fur Day is a game with some mature themes, even though it looks perfect for children. Your butt. My butt. Be careful not to leave him unaccompanied for too long, as his innocent juggling and video gaming suddenly becomes a makeshift flamethrower and a magnet magazine about beavers. If you don't get that joke, be sure to ask your dad about his favourite beaver. High on Life is a great first person shooter that makes fun of video game tropes, and to really stand out from the crowd, it breaks the fourth wall constantly. Like this, if you don't press any inputs for long enough, your gun will start talking to you through the TV. So uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm talking to you, the, the, the person, the human playing the game, not the fictional character holding me. I'm talking to you through the screen. Say something back, it's gonna blow your mind. I'll be able to hear you, I promise, it's crazy. Crazy. And finally, something huge to end. How many years has Tom been chasing Jerry around? ever since 1940. In that time, Tom has never really caught that mouse for very long. And now in multiverses, that war continues. And it finally happened. To catch Jerry, all Tom needed to do was go AFK. Don't press any inputs, and it's that simple. He'll pick up that annoying rodent. So sometimes going AFK is a good thing. I'm Adam, you're awesome. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Mwah! See you next time.